So, just so you guys know ahead of time, I suck at this game. I'm not good at it. Uh, also, for some reason, the cutscenes were all going black. Uh, OBS was not happy. I fixed that problem. And adding on to that, I also had some issues with audio. Uh, mainly, my tracks were not split like they were supposed to be, so it's all one track, and I can't lower the game audio. I also don't want to re-record it because that ruins the genuine experience, so please bear with me for this. Uh, thank you all for listening, and I hope you all have a good watch. Hello everyone, it has been a while since I've done one. I do wild. Today we're going to be leading off with that new show. Obviously you know my name, you've seen the channel. No point to explain that any further, right? Hermes Fortress, the land of alchemy, is said that the alchemy employed here transformed diseases into antidotes. The people of Hermes were protected by this mystical art, and the kingdom became one of the most powerful nations of the continent. Ignore the mouse. I am playing this with control. In the beginning, people thought it was just another infectious disease. It wasn't until the livestock began dying and those who had been infected began shrieking out in pain that they realized a deadly plague had befallen them. Various kingdoms tried to fend off the sickness and gas the creatures, but their efforts were futile and despair engulfed the entire continent. Hermes' kingdom, founded atop the colossal tree, quickly rose to power due to their use of miraculous alchemical science, which was able to turn the plague into a cure. So not cure the plague, but turn the plague into a cure. As the plague ravaged the lands, they relied on the alchemy to light the blessed flame. Dark Souls vibes. But where there is light, there will always be shadow. Yes. Alright. And we're in. Basic control. Left stick. Push left stick to sprint. Okay, to interact with objects. Possible. Okay. I'm using a PS4 controller, but I can... Follow the commands and search for the clues. A little bit of stuttering here. Ministry of War, due to the recent epidemic outbreak, Hermes Kingdom is declaring a state of emergency. All citizens must abide by the following orders. All citizens are forbidden from going out. Central supplies will be distributed by the Knights. Any signs of plague like sense or mutation must be immediately reported to the Knights to be dealt with. Any corpses or unclean objects must be handed over to the relevant personnel for incineration and purification. Effective date immediately. I guess it just hasn't told me how to attack yet. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, right bumper or R1 to perform saber attack. B to dodge enemy attack. Saber attacks deal damage to the enemy and leave wounds on them. Wounds are temporary, but heal after a short period if no more damage is inflicted. Alright, that's interesting. When the enemy's health and wounds are both zero, they will become dazed. Approach a dazed enemy and use RB to execute them. Okay. Oh, I was trying to see the back of that little thing. Execute. I thought there was going to be like some flashy animation for the execution, but I guess not. in my left hand, by the way. Is that like a dagger? Like a plague face here? Uh, LB just for an enemy attack hits Corvus to deflect it. I just realized his name is Corvus. Deflecting enemy attack damage to the enemy negates any damage to Corvus. Paper on the ground, the one. Deadly science hangs over the streets and the city's completely sealed off. There's no food to be found, nor anyone. Sort of thing. So far, it's just based a cart one spam. Not really need to do anything flashy. Uh, yeah, right stick to lock on. Locked on means will stay in center and court of sight. When locked on, move right stick left to right to change target. Pretty standard. Okay, so now we got two guys. Ooh. I was not 
<laughs> Way too early. God, feels like Elden Ring again. Just die. Up and over. I'm not like missing anything I can attack, right? Uh. Okay, this looks like it's supposed to be some kind of boss fight. Oh, that heals 100. Healing heals 150 right now. Right bumper to perform a claw attack. Claw attack deals a lot of damage to enemy wounds and prevents them from healing. Oh, okay, I got that on. Containing a plague weapon. Each enemy has a unique plague weapon. Corvus can reave this for his own use. Hold RT to fully charge Corvus's claw and release to reave a plague weapon. Reave deals even more damage to enemy wounds and prevents them from healing. Corvus is vulnerable while charging his claw, so it's safer to perform on base enemies. Casting a plague, a reave plague weapon. Use Y to cast a reave plague weapon. Reave plague weapons can only be used once. Corvus has super armor when casting plague weapons, but still takes damage. So I'm guessing that's just like a bunch of boys, basically. There's nine of them here. A soldier's diary, King's dagger, and gray armor. They are our last hope. They let the survivors try to make things right. The infectious corpses burn, purifying them with sickness. All right. So it seems like you do have to repeat that attack a couple of times. Basically, when you use it, it's a one time use. Yep. So there is a destructible environment, I just haven't found it yet. Okay, so... Beacon. Resting a beacon will save current progress, refill potions, and restore health and energy. Resting a beacon will also resurrect most enemies. Did I say top up? Oh no, light up. Is it up? Can I do anything else with this? Uh, not right now, but this is where you'll level up and everything else, okay. Feathers, as lethal as iron arrows, pierce their weakness. Critical attacks and feather attack. When a green light appears before an enemy attack, they will perform a critical attack. That cannot be deflected. Instead, Corvus must move out of range or use a feather attack. Use ult. Yeah, it looks like left trigger to throw a feather and interrupt the enemy attack just before the enemy's critical attack hits Corvus. Corvus will regenerate their own feathers over time. Feathers will also leave wounds on the enemies and stop them from healing for a while. Okay. I butchered that. the point of dodges if they don't work. Wow. There is no iframes for your dodge. Good to know. When Corvus has three zeros, memories interrupted, burn a memory shards, location where his memory is interrupted, Corvus will acquire memory shards from defeating enemies. Level up. Okay. Oh. 
Aha. I do it too late? Come on then. What is the timing you have to get here? So, no iframes. It won't let me kill the dude normally. And apparently my reaction time sucks. Right before the enemy spiritual attacks Corvus. See? Two feathers there. Point of the feathers, they don't do anything. Like, your feathers aren't working. Resident Sire, how did this all begin? They said that an accident occurred on the day of the king's birthday. Previously, the plagues were only spreading outside the kingdom, but after that break, all have gone mad. straight across so it can go up the big scary stairs or down the big scary stairs where's down go another one of these guys and I'm guessing ups oh, probably like a boss or something yeah that looks like a boss Alright, taking my chances with Green Boy before I get into this fight. Oh, that's not a ladder I can climb. <laughs> Thought it was a ladder I could climb. So, is there not actual, like, backstabs and stuff then? What's the point of this? There's nothing in here. which is the white bar, and then the green bar is their actual health. Pathway to Allegiance Kingdom are either lined with monsters or blocked by soldiers, and they can leave and none can enter. Okay. Got 
gotcha, gotcha. So if I go rest of the thing before fighting this dude up ahead, is it gonna respawn the one green dude? Also, I hope I didn't miss anything down there. I didn't really look all that carefully, but I didn't see anything. So I'm curious if green guys... I'm assuming the green guys that weren't like this one will respawn, but there's also the chance this one will respawn on me for... Who knows why. They suck, though. Did he, he did not respawn. So I wonder if the spear one respawned or not. Also, I noticed the tutorial message are locked to a like particular space. He did respond. Okay. Well, I guess we're going up this way. me up. He was not happy I was there. Colossus Hill. Hermes Kingdom's bell on top colossal tree. When national issues became too overwhelming, King's past generations would retreat to the core of the mystical forest. Legend has that there they can access the wisdom of their ancestors. As such, it has been given the name Philosopher's Hill. Alright, cutscene. Little kid? I Ash me? I don't know. Corvus, you're finally awake. I was worried about you. You were badly hurt. Luckily, you made it back in time. Corvus, do you remember what you did? You need the right formula to use Hermes' answer. It appears that the injury caused you to lose your memories, so perhaps it would be helpful to start with a description of what you still remember. Come back when you got your memories in order. Till then, you can walk around. It might help jog your memory. I can't break barrels. Zero out of ten. Ooh, nine. Hermes' royal bolt, and famous of knightly order, petitioned the king to stop sending knights to battle outside the kingdom's borders. Former chairman of the Institute for Alchemical Studies, Emerald, has officially appointed someone to take her position. Emerald said that she wanted someone with even greater abilities than herself to lead the alchemical search in Hermes. Research in Hermes. Twilight Circus, hailing from the Sea of Trees, was once again invited to perform in the royal court. As expected, Ringmaster Odor's new performance received great acclaim from all who had attended. Nice. Uh, pardon me if you heard that. Ashmi's journal. Philosopher's Hill is a royal family sanctuary. Every fall, a father would take us here. He says that on the hill, he is not king, but merely a father and a friend. There is no need for formalities here, he would say. After the outbreak, domestic matters became pressing. Our visit to this place grew less and less. So, map menu. Corvus can recall his memories by revisiting locations and quests in the map. So there's quests. More memories and location have been locked, but Corvus starts to remember. Sea of Trees. Wait, oh, yeah, I still... I... Oh! <laughs> Oops. I hope there wasn't more there I needed. Sea of Trees. And there it is, the plague, nobles banish all criminals, the poor, and the sickly to a lower level of the kingdom known as Sea of Trees. The upper ring society living above the sky. Slung care nothing of their lives. They refer to them as the hopeless, letting them succumb to sickness and all manners of ghastly creatures. Alright. 
Corvus can use memory shards to enhance its attributes. Strength, increased saber attack and wound damage, vitality increased maximum health. Plague increased claw, dam claw damage and maximum energy. Corvus gains one tally point each time increases attribute up to level 25. Okay. So now I can level up. I got two points worth of stuff. That doesn't seem like small increases at least. Okay, the health may be a little small. <laughs> Attack damage, amount of wounds. Let's get a little bit of health and a little bit of attack damage. I might be sleeping on the claw, but... Corpse keys, talent points, learn new talents. Talents can be unlearned at any time, so experiment with different playstyles, spur them for various challenges that lie ahead. While well, in the air, press RB to perform a fast downward slap. How do you even go in the air? <laughs> Perform fast saber attacks up to a three hit combo. Approach a dazed enemy and execute them. So these are what I already have. Deflect. When successfully deflecting attacks, enemy counter attack gauge is reduced. Hold LB to enter defense mode. Reduce 75% damage against basic attacks, but cannot defend against critical attacks. Corvus can perform a second dodge. Corvus can dodge twice, and the second dodge is longer. You only get to choose one side, I'm guessing. Especially dodging enemy attacks, gain one stack of defensive buff. Of defensive. Okay. Dash towards the enemy the right right before their critical attack hits to jump and interrupt it. Alright, that's some Sekiro style stuff. During certain non hit animations, press circle to get up quickly. Or press right trigger again right after a long claw to perform a second attack. Form a series of short range claw attacks up to three combo. When hitting an enemy with short claw, gain one stack of defensive claw. Gain super armor when performing creditor's claw. Whenever Corvus deals damage to claw attacks, more energy will be restored. While in the air, press right trigger to perform a gliding claw. Gliding claws deal a lot of damage to enemy wounds. Feathers. When successfully interrupting a critical attack with a feather dart, gain a stack of predator's swiftness buff. Greatly increase the charge speed of your next predator's claw. Increase maximum number of feathers to 5. Regenerate a feather every 8 seconds. Whenever a feather dart, feather dash, intercept wing gets into me, a little bit of energy will be restored. Uh. Okay, so equip plague weapon, reap to plague weapon. Corvus can carry two plague weapons at the same time. One is unlocked through skill shards, and the other is reaped in battle. Gain second slot or plague weapons unlock your skill shards. Press down switch between equipped plague weapon one and two. Extends the time taken before enemy wounds start healing. On the other hand, it leaves wounds on them. Wounds are temporary and will heal after a short period. No damage is Yeah, I kind of want that. When taking damage, there's a 30% chance of reducing incoming damage by 10%. After taking damage, a small amount of energy will be restored. Slightly increase the item drop rate. While Corvus is held this bowl, permanently gain one stack of defensive buff. After taking damage, the buff is locked. While Corvus' health is lower than 20%, permanently gain one stack of offensive buff. Corvus' health is built above 20% or over, the buff is lost. Okay. It's like red tear stone ring. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go with that for now. And I'm gonna forget immediately that I can do the uh, dash towards the critical attack thing. So there doesn't seem to be a spam in the game. stand there and tank a kid when I can obviously, you know. Oh, he's fast, boy. Tired Twilight Circus recruitment at Twilight Circus is falling off things. No restrictions or qualifications. All able body applicants welcome. Porter, 20 positions, street vendor, 10 positions. Five males and five females were required to undergo a physical examination perform cl clerical duties within the tent. Outstanding compensation, interest to parties, please contact. Okay. Ladders. Oh, I can break these barrels. Nice.
so that doesn't really do anything to enemies that are uh, free, I guess. Ow. <laughs> I like how the game's like, yeah, you don't want to, like, you know. Ah, he kicked me. Uh, that was a critical attack, and I didn't even notice it. Oh, special animation for him. Skill shards, skill shards. Twilight Circus Buster, we return a brand new program made just for you. The audience with featured acts such as Big Clown Beat Rama, Dagger's Fatal Roll Call, and the highly anticipated The Grand Illusionist Odor's Mysterious Finale. Every Saturday and Sunday, just at the brink of dust, the circus tent opens for you. Uh oh, same recruitment ad, okay. That's why it was cool. So we got two ways to go, and I can barely see either direction. Claw combo attacks seem to be good. Just dropping puzzles. Note from an unknown hopeless 01. I want to join Circus Order to provide for my family. There are rumors floating around that some people go into the tent and never come out, but the pay is so good nobody really cares. Staff member that did my health check said my body is just what they are looking for. No idea what that means, but to hell with it. Okay. So there's two directions you can go, or is it all linked to one thing? It's all linked to one area. Honestly, I'm slow at this combat, but I like it. Collection of memories level one consumable. Skill shards. Collect enough skill shards, unlock or upgrade plate weapons at the peak. Gotcha, gotcha. So if we go this way. Ah, this is back where we already were, which means the other way is the way we came from. Uh, I may not have any heals, but I want to try to push a little further for Christian. I did already. Yeah, yeah. Drop off point was just the other side, that's right. So, what do we got over here? Oh, that's cool. So, if you attack at the same time they're attacking, you can do like a weird parry, or is that just them parrying me? I did not mean to use that. Skill shards and skill shards, baby. Oh, I didn't even realize that was through a doorway. Uh, just tried to kick the air. Hermes life, Steve Trees won. Almost every resident of the forest constructed around the sacred trees. The people believe that if they are close to the trees, they will receive their blessing and protection. Even those whose homes are not in the direct contact with sacred trees will carry tiny branches to drive off the plague. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Could destroy one of them. Not both of them, huh? Up, man. I do that just to get you. Yep, and that's why. I knew there was going to be a number here. 
So small enemies can kind of be R1 spammed. Uh, bigger enemies are a little different. Twilight Circus recruitment ad. Twilight Circus is originally seeking quarters of carpenters. 50 positions available. No restrictions, code locations, outstanding compensation, interest parties. Please contact. So a shorter version of the note from. Oh. Oh no! That killed me. All right, guys. So forgive me here. Uh, I ended a bit early. I did have another 30 minutes, but I felt like if I put it all together, it would be too much in one video to get people to watch it all the way through. So I'm splitting it up. However, there wasn't enough I could find that I wanted to remove from the original gameplay to make it a shorter video. Uh, that being said, if you guys leave comments, like can think of anywhere that would have been a good part to cut out or something like that, or if you can think of like, maybe i should just do a full version and then split video into funny segments or something like that uh do let me know because i'm interested in all of that um but yeah so i'm going to end this one here and the next video is probably going to start off with just another voice introduction maybe some text or something on the screen i don't have a whole lot to put there but thank you all for coming around and I hope to see you all next time.